Hello everyone. I'm actually very happy today. I finally got my Toys R Us Vulture figure. As you can see, I have the Michael Keaton head sculpt on it, which is uh, one of the accessories that it came with. This figure is actually not bad at all. Um, I'm actually doing a comparison, as you can see back here. I have the Jazz Inc. Vulture figure that they made. So there are a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences as well. Um, you know, completely different figures in the sense of, obviously, they were made differently with different materials, different looks, different styles, different paint uh, applications. Um, for example, this figure here is the Toys Era figure. The reason I, you know, you would... You'd, you may wonder why, you know, who needs two vultures? Actually, I'm getting three. I'm waiting for the Hot Toys one to be released as well, which is 100% coming. The reason why I ordered the Toys Era after having the Jazz Inc. one was specifically for the head sculpt. I knew that I needed that head sculpt. I don't need the wings, obviously. The best wings, in my opinion, are the Jazz, the Jazz Inc. wings. Uh, you know, just thicker bigger longer more heavy duty um function they 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 have uh you know they're functional they have you know they move as you can see um so do the toy zero ones actually the toy zero ones i'm going to show you guys in a second um they're a little more annoying to 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 play with because of the base um so i'm going to i'm going to start off with the jazz ink one so the jazz ink one came with this really nice base heavy duty base it came with this wing support these two um posts that are again really really nice it came with these with these uh pieces of material to prevent any scratching or it's like a like a little foam sponge material to prevent any scratching on the wings um the wings feel they don't feel like they're plastic by any means. They actually feel like they're a different material because they're heavy and they're thicker. Um, the propeller, the propellers are, are are bigger than the Toys Era one. They actually rotate as well as you can. See. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can see. They rotate. Um, they there's no lighting function on them like the Toys Era one. Um, they they articulate at a couple of locations. One being right here. Actually, let me move the figure out of the way real quick. So, they articulate right here. They articulate also, I believe, on this end over here. I don't want to, like, make it full, but it came with a couple different locations for articulation. I think over here behind the, uh, the what do you call it, behind the figure as well. Um, really cool figure. I think it was about $500 and change. Um, you know, I bought it. I love it. Um, obviously, Jazz Inc. doesn't make head sculpts, so it didn't come with a head sculpt. Uh, apparently, this is real leather. The claws here, they're articulated, so they fold up. As you can see, they come down. So does the back claw. Um, this is real leather. The pants are really nice. Um, the one thing I didn't like... So, for example, like you can't really articulate the elbow on this figure. The figure is not a heavy-duty figure uh, either. It's uh, it's very cheap. Um, this is supposed to be real fur, apparently. This again, as you can see, is very very straight because the the um, the suit in the back of the elbows does not articulate, does not bend. And if it does, I'm not gonna do it anyway. Uh, let me see if I could do it. See, I, I I'm not doing it because it doesn't. Um, another thing I didn't like about this figure was, as you can see. The hands do not attach. Let me actually let me get the camera there. See how the hands are floating from the controls? There's no hold on. There we go. See? There's nothing holding on to the hands. It's just attached to the body, to the mechanism of the body in the back of the forearm. So that's one thing I didn't really like. They don't, you know, you didn't get the option of, you know, different hands or anything like that with this figure at all let me try to set up this camera better here we go so you know it, it's it, the figure you know the actual body of the figure again it's okay it's not i don't think it's supposed to be doing too much um 
all the the attachment pieces, as you can see by the hip, all that stuff, it's stiff, it's, it's not articulated, so it's not going anywhere, which is why the leather still looks brand new. There's no folds on the leather. Um, what else? The, the eyes light up. The eyes do light up. Uh, again, the wings don't. The uh, the wings uh, also don't rotate. Um, you know, uh, powered, battery powered. They just you know manually you rotate it with your finger. Um, the, uh, this figure also came with a tall stand. So same base, but what happens is you get uh, two attachments, and actually you raise the the figure, and it stays up as if it was flying. I didn't you know I didn't want to use that because it was just too tall and I don't really have much room to to display anything that tall up here any down here anyway um so I just used the the regular base again it's a beautiful piece very heavy duty feels heavy duty it's, you know it's got some weight to it but again just very stiff there's no articulation for the figure again I, it's, it's not necessary I don't need it but I'm just giving you the comparison for um the Toys Era figure so the Toys Era figure Starting off with the hands, see how you can actually hold on to the controls of the wings. Show you the other one too. Let me show you both. See, so you actually hold on. So I really like that that you actually get to hold on to the controls instead of having them floating like this, um, which you know this is weird. Again, they got away with it because it is what it is. Doesn't really need to do anything else if they're you know they're selling what they were selling you was. The vulture figure as a you know the vulture flying not as uh you know michael keaton or, or anything like that so it works for the figure you know i'm not i'm not complaining about that i just don't like that because it's it, it looks unnatural you know what i mean he's holding on to nothing obviously from far away it doesn't matter but you know when you know about it it's like ah oh, that's weird so you know this figure again i bought it specifically for the for the uh head sculpt the uh, Michael Keaton head sculpt, um, just because I'm going to display it with the Spider-Man figures all together, and obviously him without the wings, I don't need the wings uh, to be displayed. He comes with the gun, as you can see here. Uh, let me let me raise it up real quick. The the wrist pegs are really weak, so here's the gun. The gun lights up. I didn't put the actually. That's another thing. They didn't give us batteries with the figure, so. There's, uh, you got to find these LR batteries, which I, I know I don't have, on, uh, you know, in stock at, at all times. So I don't have any to put them on. Same thing for the helmet. The helmet looks really nice as well. Really nice. Um, you know, a little bit bigger and it, it's got some weight to it as well. Um, a little bit bigger than the, than the, uh, Jazz Ink one. Obviously different tone as well. The visor, as you can see, is darker. This is lighter. You can see the actually you can see the, the eyes a little bit better here, but this one lights up as uh, as well. You can see where the batteries go. This is the switch. The batteries go in there. Um, again, it's got some weight to it. It's got the little hose here. This hose is attached to the back here. So you know, similar similar look. Again, they're 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 supposed to be the same character, but two different takes on you know obviously two two different companies made it. Um, this I could guarantee you is not real leather, but it, it looks really really nice. Um, I'm, I don't have any complaints about the clothing at all. Uh, same thing with the. Uh, let me show you guys the uh, the claws. They articulate, so they go up. They go up. They go down. Same thing with the back claw, because they it comes with you know they come with back claws. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah, the gun. And I'm gonna get into. Let me show you the back real quick. So this is how you attach the wings on this figure specifically so you stick in like a like a base in there and that's where the it's the midsection of the wings you snap it in and then it comes with a couple of uh of uh hooks i'll show you in a second that attach directly into the uh, actual wings so you know the detail is really cool really nice no complaints about that. You know, the, the arms articulate way more than this. 100%. Um, let me show you how. And, and, and you'll see maybe that the handle fall off. See? This actually bends up, you know, a lot more than the Jazz Ink one. Um, which is, you know, thank God. I mean, you're not really going to be... I'm not going to be using it like that for any reason. Mine's going to stay just like this as you see it. Um, I was trying to make them hold the helmet... 
on this, which is why I have the open palm hand, but it, it's not, it doesn't bend enough to do that, so I'm leaving it alone. I wasn't going to display it like this either because obviously I have that one displayed that way, so I don't need, you know, the same look twice. And let me show you guys the wings real quick because um, the wings are cool. So these wings are about like four feet, I think four feet, two inches long. Um, and these are about three feet, six inches long, I believe, something like that. And so I want to show you the features of these wings. So here's that little snap-on piece that I told you that goes in the back of his of the figure. So these are the supports that you get for the wings because they're kind of heavy. And obviously being so long, you need some support. So, you know, crappy, crappy design for the base. Uh, uh, you know, it'll, it'll fold backwards if you don't set it properly because again too heavy kind of flimsy I, I feel like they should have done a better job with that i mean it is what it is it works but it could they could have been you know could have done a better job so for the propellers the um let me show you the the batteries as you can see they move right they rotate as well let me see they rotate uh can't do it actually do they no they don't no i thought they did they don't so they this moves around and there's where the batteries go so they do light up but they don't rotate as the jazz ink ones do i thought they did for some reason i don't know why i don't know why they would have that's an easy thing to do you know in my opinion so i guess they didn't want to add too many features for the price so as as i told you there's a there's an attachment here so that this piece goes on the back of the figure and then this attaches right to the wing this is clipped on on these two ends as you can see um it actually comes separate so i just hooked them up and then to take pictures of of the figure with them on but the articulation spots are right here here's a spot here and there's a spot over here as well so there's two spots there again lights up um you know as you can see i don't know if you could tell actually you can't but see like just the wing just the wingspan let me see if you See, like it's you could tell the jazz ink one is a lot thicker just in general. You know, darker in color as well. This is more like grayish. Um the jazz ink one is a little more uh, a little dark. And so yeah, I wish the base was a little better though. That's that's one of my complaints with the Toys Era figure. Um but again, it doesn't matter. I don't care about any of that because I'm not gonna plan in, I'm not gonna plan on using it with the wings anyway. Um this was the main reason why I got it, and again when Hot Toys releases theirs, which they're 100% going to, um, I'm going to buy it. Again, not for the Winx. Obviously, I'm going to do another video of it as well when I do get it in hand, comparing the three. Um, obviously, the best is going to be Jazz Inc. When it comes to the wings, specifically the wings, not the figure. The figure of Hot Toys is going to blow this out of the water. The head sculpt is going to be better with the Hot Toys one. And that's why I want to get the other one as well. Um, I'm going to, I want to be able to, to get different looks with these uh, three figures. Obviously, the Jazz Inc. will stay where it is, you know, by itself in the on top of the details. Because it's just so massive that you can't, you know, I can't put it anywhere. And what makes a figure, like I said, is the wings. These wings are amazing. So... Uh, that's going to stay where it is. This um, Vulture uh, is going to stay. The new one, the Toys R Us, is going to go in the in the shelf, um, in the display. I'm going to put it right, as you guys can see, right up there with all the Spider-Man figures. Um, I have all the three movies in there. Uh, so that's where that's going, and I can't wait to do that. Um, actually, as you guys can see, the, the only base that came with the figure is this. The one, the one I just showed you, this one, just the plain, you know, plain black base just to hold the wings up, but it's not like a crotch grabber or, you know, a waist grabber uh, base. So this base that I'm using right now is actually from another figure. I think it was a uh, an X-Men figure, so it says Toys R on it, which works perfectly. Um, I might use that one or just a regular oval base. Uh, just, you know, just the plain black original, you know, oval bases that Hot Toys used to give us for the figures. Um, I'll see what looks better because this one's kind of high and I don't want it to like look off because a lot of the other bases that I have are the either the oval or the stock bases, the hexagon bases that come with the figures. For example, Mysterio uh, and stuff like that. So I, I, I got to figure out what I want to do with the base. But 
like I said, guys, you know, cool figure overall. I, I again, I just wanted it for the for the head sculpt uh, and to have it in the in the shelf because the um, even if I wanted to to not use the Jazz Ink wings, uh, uh, you know, wings on the figure and just use the figure in the shelf, put it on the shelf in the display, I, it would have looked off. You know what I mean? It's just a stiff arms are stiff out. Uh, you know, there's no bend as you can see. Look at this here straight and then look at here at least you get a little bend here which looks more natural and so that's you know that's the main reason why again i'm not using those wings at all they're they're you know they're really nice but they're really long again not as big as the jazz ink wings but they're they're really nice as well um again the light up feature is really cool they don't the propeller doesn't spin which i thought it did um i'm surprised that it doesn't let me try one more time just because i thought it did Oh, yes, it does. Wait. Yeah, they do, actually. That's what I thought. Yeah, they do spin, but they're kind of tough to, like, spin around with your hand. So, yeah, so they do spin. Um, again, I'm not going to bother with that anyway. Um, kind of tough. Like I said, you have to, like, really hold the, the wings down and, 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 like, really force them to spin. And what's the point of that? I don't know. But um, but that's why I was shocked. I was like, wait, they don't spin? I thought they, they did. So that was one of the features that they, uh, they were selling us. In the promo pictures, it was, you know, the, the light-up feature and that it spins and, you know, all that stuff. So, obviously, um, you know, a lot cheaper than the uh, Jazz Ink. So, I didn't expect, I personally didn't expect, you know, anything better than the than the Jazz Ink. But we did get the lighting effect, like I said. Uh, which, again, it's cool. I, I didn't get to see it because I didn't, uh, I don't have the batteries and they didn't give us batteries. We need two LR batteries. I forget the exact number of the batteries, but... Two for um, for the uh, helmet and two per propeller, I believe. So again, it would have been cool to get them included, but again, those batteries that they that they give us are crappy anyway, and they're usually either like ready to die or they last, you know, a couple hours or so. You know, if I want to try it out, I'll I'll, I'll get my own batteries and see. Uh, in the manual, it tells you exactly what batteries you're you're supposed to get for that. And so um, these eyes, uh, I do, I did try these when I got it. I think the batteries are still in there. Um, I don't want to turn them on just because I don't feel like messing with the figure right now. But these, I haven't seen what they look like lit up. You know this this Toys Era one. So I, you know, I, I bet they're they're it's probably going to look really nice. The eyes are going to look nice. You know, it's that that bright green look. So um, so yeah, guys, I, I just wanted to make this little quick video. Um, just comparing the two, and again, like I said, I'm gonna once Hot Toys releases there, I'm gonna get it as well, and I'm gonna do a little comparison of that, and um, just to see, obviously, you know, compare the head sculpts, obviously, compare, you know, see what it comes with, obviously, you know, probably a weapon, probably, you know, I guarantee you they're gonna add some type of uh, Spider-Man, you know, uh, accessory there as well, which would be cool. Hopefully, something, you know, something different, something new, and. Uh, and that's it, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.